what up boys and welcome back to another video so as always every single wednesday i upload a video of me uh, doing a video for the 100 runs or 10 hours open world basically it's me uh picking out a dungeon that you guys select and i farm it a hundred times i save up all the loot and then i show you guys how i farmed it and how much gold i made so if you guys have missed out on any of these videos then just click the playlist down below in the comment section and I have all these videos uh, in one playlist. So in today's video we're farming Drag Tyron Keep. Drag Tyron Keep, obviously Rat of Lich King uh, dungeon. And uh, we're doing it on normal mode because if you do it on heroic mode you will be saved after killing a boss, right? So we wouldn't be able to run this uh, as many times as we can in an hour. And uh, in the start right here you can see that this guy, these guys comes, don't rush past them. Just wait until they summon the mobs. Like, there's not that many mobs in this dungeon. It's pretty fast to run, so you want to make sure that you kill every single mob in the dungeon. Like, every mob counts. Also, moving up to these stairs, you gotta go and you gotta kill these guys before they run away. Otherwise, you're gone. Like, you can't kill them, you're gonna miss out on loot. So there's a couple of things like that you got to keep in mind while running this dungeon. Besides from that, it's pretty much straightforward, actually. And in terms of loot, like, why would you do this Rat of Lich King farm. Well, Drag Tyron Keep is mostly like all the other dungeons in Rat of Lich King out there. Like the, when it comes to transmo items, there's a bunch of fake value items. There's a bunch of weapons that are like insane in terms of value, decent sell rate, but it's really hard to sell them. Like you're gonna get so many items worth 10 to 30,000 gold. Uh, and they do sell some of them at least the weapons especially the uh, armor pieces is worse right however there's at least one item that i've had massive success with and that is the astral light bow actually really cool bow i've received it twice before and it has sold within a day the last two times that i received it for over a hundred thousand gold so all these raptors, every time you see a guy riding a raptor like this, you just gotta pull him, so he like kinda despawns the raptor and then it spawns again. Just so you can get like one additional mob to kill and loot. Keep in mind if you have skinning, you're gonna make more gold because you can actually skin the mobs after killing him, which is gonna give you some sort of a steady income from this one because that's pretty much the only steady gold you're gonna make from Drag Terror and Keep, besides from the raw gold, just looting the mobs and selling the shitty items. The only thing you can make steady gold on is skinning the raptors. That's pretty much it. So uh, the loot, try to get the astral light bow. However, there is a couple of blue items and some green weapons and shields especially that are worth selling. But the astral light bow is like the holy grail on this one. So uh, now with the raptors and the guys with the stairs and the people spawning in the beginning, that's really all the tips and tricks that you guys gotta know about for this dungeon. It's just fast forward, uh, besides from that, look like there's no uh, alternative route you can take, I guess. You guys might have seen that I uh, skipped the boss, the, uh, the, the, it's the second boss, because the second boss summons a lot of waves of mobs and they're not lootable, and it's just not worth the time. It takes ages for the, uh, the boss to uh, finish the summoning of the, uh, the mobs, so I wouldn't suggest you to do that, it's not worth the time. So once you kill the last boss, it's just jump down, jump down again, jump down even more until you're finally out again. And then it's just reset dungeon and rinse and repeat. Like, it's really, really simple. It's, um... Well, I'm going to take a look at the loot before I give you guys my judgment of the, uh, the farm itself. So in terms of loot, this is what I ended up with. I have a lot of shitty items now that I'm going to go ahead and pour out. And get rid of so you guys can see how many items are actually kept. But you guys can see that it's mostly shields and weapons. Because as I said earlier, I have had way more luck selling shields especially. But also weapons that I have had selling armor pieces from Wrath of Lich King. So that's why I'm only keeping those. So um, we have some of the silk, Ice Web Spider Silk. It's pretty much worthless. I just use it for crafting, so there's no need to vendor it because then I would have to rebuy it later, anyways. And these items right here is just a bunch of um, items with an okay enough value or sell rates for me to keep it and try and sell it. Some items with like a unique look and so on. But the um, best two items that I got, I guess, 
Is this a uh, sword 0 0.2 sell rate on a 15k market value as a built-in glow to it? So I've sold this in the past hasn't been a problem. That's a pretty good one And I actually managed to pick up the astral light bow only one up on my own right now for 154,000 gold has a market value of 136,000 gold. So it looks like this I'm not claiming it looks insanely good, but it's simple as a slick look to it and uh they tend to sell extremely well, so maybe you can go in the auction house, search for the astral bow, an uh, astral light bow, sorry, and buy it out cheap because people don't know that this is actually a gold mine. So using the uh, the macro, I'm sitting at two hundred and sixty four thousand golds on my realm. This is what I can sell these items. Well, if they sell, it's gonna end up being two hundred and sixty four thousand gold, right? So that's not too bad. But would I recommend this dungeon? No, not when there's better alternatives out there. I'm speaking about simple dungeons like Gundrak. Gundrak can drop all of these items, can drop the Astrolite Bow. And if you have skinning, Gundrak is way better because you make a shit ton of gold steady doing uh, Gundrak compared to Drag Tyrant Keep. But it's nice for variation. I like doing the 100 runs and it didn't feel like doing the 100 runs. They were pretty fast and uh, I had fun doing it. So it wasn't bad. I would definitely recommend you guys to give it a go. I haven't tried it out with skinning yet simply because Gundrak is better. I probably should have done it, but fuck it, it's done now. And that was it for today's 100 runs. So if you guys got any dungeons or open world farms that you want me to do for 100 runs, let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you all in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye, boys.